Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Random Lock. On the last episode, we headed inside the Indigo Plateau to start dealing with the Elite Four. We headed into the first room and started fighting with Will, the first member, who is a psychic type Pokemon master. We fought his five Pokemon, two Zatus, a Slowbro, a Jinx, and an Executor, using Maggie and Samantha, and managed to take care of all five without really without really suffering that badly. Samantha did get hurt a lot thanks to body slams and getting paralyzed twice, but she's back up to the full, so it's all fine. So, on this episode, we were one in, three more left, we're heading off to the second person of the Elite Four. And I mentioned this last episode, but they should be familiar, and the title and picture of and the thumbnail should have already given it away. Hello. Someone is familiar. <laughs> I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. <laughs> Pokemon is not nearly about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Elite Four Koga wants to battle. So, for those that don't know, for those that weren't around for Generation 1, Koga is actually an old gym leader from Generation 1. The gym leader of Fuchsia City. So we know what Koga's gonna be dealing with, because we've actually fought him once before. Not Chris, uh, Bucky did. <laughs> Koga is a poison type trainer, and so just like that, we have a bunch of poison type Pokemon, like Ariados, who we saw in, who we saw in uh, Victory Road, which is why Maggie's out front, because of the bug type. And also because Flamethrower is a beast. <laughs> Goodbye. And Maggie levels up from that, too. Ooh, keep it going. Look at that special attack. Ooh, look at that speed. Ugh. I think you're the fastest Pokemon in our party. Not not counting me, uh, Sean, who might be even faster. Elite Four Koga is about to use Fortress. Oh, boy, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Maggie, you're staying out. I dislike you greatly. Fortress... We've seen one before. We know it's Bug Seal, which means Maggie should be doing a lot of damage to it. Unfortunately, Fortress knows one of the scary moves, and I don't want it to happen. So we'll see what happens. It didn't use it. I think Fortress just died. <laughs> I, I think all that worry just immediately went out the window when it didn't go first. Let's see. Fortress has pretty high defense. That doesn't matter, because fire is special defense. Oh, that, that was the one I was afraid of the most. Elite Four Koga is about to use a muck. I will switch. Sean's turn. <laughs> Godzilla might not know any ground type moves, but he didn't know poison's weak against psychic type moves. So that should hurt. Didn't hurt as much. Ah, that hurts, though. Please hurt yourself. Don't you dare do the move I think you're going to use. Sweet. Well, that made this muck fight a lot a lot, a lot simpler. <laughs> muck knows Minimize. Which, I guess, for Sean isn't that much of a problem since Sean knows Swift. So, <laughs> that, that... It never got a chance to fight. It hit itself in the face. Elite Four Koga is about to use Crobat. Sean's staying out for this one. So once again, I don't have anything to take care of its flying type, but I do have something to take care of its poison type. I just need to be worried that Crobat does not know any bite or crunch type moves. Because those would hurt a lot. Ooh, he doesn't have double team though. Which is which is exactly like using Minimize, so let's just try this. Ooh. Ooh. 
I don't think I overtrained for this. I think this is I'm the perfect level for to go through the Elite Four. It's just that the first couple of members are the weaker ones. And <laughs> sorry, Koga, I know your Pokemon were your Pokemon are actually higher leveled in Yellow than they were here, because your Pokemon are like in the mid 40s, 50s in Yellow, and and now they got dropped down to the lower 40s. Venomoth, we're switching to Maggie. Should we switch? Uh, we should have kept Shot out, so he leveled up. Oh, but the but the bug type. <laughs> the bug type is bad. Plus, meet my uh, bubblegum Maggie, please. I think I hit every single member at least. Well, no, Muck we hit twice, and Crobat we hit twice. Ah, you have proven your worth. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to test. All right, two down, two left. I don't think we got touched. <laughs> I think Koga might have been simpler than Will. Maggie didn't get hurt. Sean didn't get hurt. The only thing that happened, the only time they even attacked was when uh, Muck tried to attack, but he was confused. When uh, Crobat tried to, did Crobat try to do any, oh, Crobat used double team, and then we just used Swift. And then Venomoth, Fortress, and Ariados never attacked at all. So <laughs> that explains that this episode's gonna be less than 10 minutes long. But, all right, that's two down. Let's see, who's gonna be our Pokemon to start off with? Ooh, ooh, all right. Kind of going on a theme here where it seems like one Pokemon from the previous party is in the next party. So it seems like we're going with Sean and Aqua Boy for next, for next, the next fight. Technically, Samantha could be part of it, but the I think Sean might be better, and Aqua Boy would be better too. So this is where Gyarados would have come into play had we kept Gary on the team. I actually think we could have kept Gary on the team, but I think your Surf is going to be way more powerful than Gary Surf. Also, I don't know if Rain Dance would be just the worst. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we don't need to worry about that. So, on the next episode of Pokemon Crystal Random Lock, two members of the Elite Four are down two left and we get to see who the third one is next time so until next time hopefully you enjoy